Hills East Side are busy adjusting to more visitors and more residents coming to the area. Lift Jack started a program to revitalize the neighborhood. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner spoke with a few local business owners about the changes that they're seeing. I'm here on the historic east side where businesses say they're seeing a lot more customers since the rise of development here in the east side community. Suzanne Pickett, vice chair of Lift Jack, says there's going to be an influx of new residents in and around the east side of Jacksonville. The sports entertainment district with the development with the Jaguars. Um, we have the Doro, which is going to be uh, apartments and mixed use. And then we also have the Union Terminal Warehouse. It definitely is going to bring more people to the east side as well as the people that are already in the community. It gives them more to do in the community. Pickett says the businesses that are currently in the east side have been preparing and enhancing their business services. So they are able to serve more people who come to the side of town and Don Curling, co-founder of Melon and Market, says they are doing just that. We're working on facade improvements. We're going to get our buildings painted, pressure wash the street, the um, sidewalks and do new signages. And we're wanting to brand the east side because it's a very important for people to know that we're working to preserve and protect the east side neighborhood. Curling said she's so glad to see more people in the neighborhood and she's hoping more people will visit the east side community. Here in Jacksonville, Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side. Thank you, Brianna.